of a mistake. And he doesn't even flag. Oh, shocking. Get out. Well, that was absolutely dreadful last time against Sunderland, wasn't it? But we bounced back with Coventry. Boy, I love kitchens. And aside from that, yeah, now is the time to build up some momentum, maybe. The only downside is that Norwich are currently beating Ipswich 1-0 as we speak, obviously in that East Anglian derby, and we need to chase them down if we want any hope of playoffs, which are very slim at the moment, but it's still not impossible, so we need to still treat every game as being really important. We're coming up against Liam Rossini and his very, very good Hull team. In fact, one of the most underrated uh, teams in the championship, I'd say. Uh, they've been really impressing me this season as well. Even some familiar faces coming back to the car. Of City Stadium, including Jaden Philogene and also Ryan Giles, as well. Some very uh, fan favourites there. But Team Muse is out for today. We've got a few injuries there, but he's kept it the same as against Coventry. So Horvath in nets, and then a back four of NG, Gutas, Phillips, and Collins, with a midfield three of Ralph, Siopis, and Turnbull. And then Bolo Grant and Mace finishing up the side with a very, very nice bench of Turner, Romeo, Wilson, Esbrand, Joel Cowell, Ruben Cowell's out injured, of course. Aaron Ramsey, Ollie Tanner, Kian Ashford, Jeju, and Callum Robinson finishing up. So, yeah, another important game today. If we want to push towards the playoffs, then we have to obviously get... We've got to pretty much win every game at this point now that Norwich are beating Ipswich, which has really surprised me, to be honest. But maybe in a few weeks is the time to really push in and get uh, these players dying. I, I, keep, I keep saying it every week. I want to see Kean Ashford get on the pitch at some point. I mean, considering how much, like, C.R. Pierce, etc., etc., have been saying how good he's been in training... It, how good he's been in the under-21s. He scored that amazing goal for the uh, Wales under-21s as well. Uh, that volley from outside the box. Just, just get him on the pitch. It's, it's ridiculous. Even get Joel Colwell some minutes as well. He's been class at times. So it's time to get these youngsters involved, to be honest. But aside from that, we need to put out another good performance. Apparently, it's going to be a big crowd today. Less so much about the uh, Holloway attendance. But aside from that, let's do it. Thoughts on today, then? Thoughts on today? Well, if Norwich win... I... <laughs> Whilst it's not impossible, yeah, that's probably yes, then, isn't it, for the playoffs? Um, Hull City, okay, I don't think they've won in the last, was it, five, six matches, but uh, they've had difficult opposition. It's going to be a real stern test for this Cardiff side. It's a real shame that O'Dowder and Colwell are both out, but that, you know, the, the side that is out there is to be expected, really. The balance in midfield, the middle midfield three is probably decent probably the best we could put out today i know that uh, ramsey's on the bench but he's not fit so hopefully we'll get a positive result hopefully we'll get some entertainment hopefully it'll be better than that sunderland uh dead back hole because that wasn't good at all but we did bounce back as you say everything against coventry so hopefully we'll get a win good to see philogene again in the in the flash because he can be a tricky customer and hopefully the board will see sense and give Bullet a contract I'd probably give him well at least a year I'd probably go give him a two year contract because we need to yes yeah, you know stability rather than chopping and changing all that sort of stuff so yeah just give give Bullet the contract please Come on. How much I love you, so please don't take my car if away. Like it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 Go on. Oh my god. Unlucky bowler. USA, 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 what a save. Lovely defending Cardiff. It's all stood there. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. That! Absolutely ripped through. God, that defender was absolutely shocking. Unbelievable. Okay, so that's the end of the first half. I had high hopes for that goal at the start when 
Well, I don't know, we just seem to hold our own in defence, but I don't know what happened to us after like the 20th minute, but we just completely imploded at the back. Absolutely shocking defending for the first goal, no one blocking it at the back post. In goes Carvalho, nice little goal there. And then the second one, oh my God, some, well, the build-up was all right from Hull, but at the end of the day, we just didn't know how to defend it. And yeah, just a generally woeful performance. It just reminds me a lot of Sunderland. And I know this, this lot are a good side, but we need to, A, we need to be doing far better. And B, at the end of the day, we could lose this about 4 or 5 nil if we're not careful. So, yeah, changes need at half-time massively. It's clear that we're not going to get the playoffs now, so just mix it up, get the youngsters on, experiment. Get ready for next season. Come on, Bullet Man. What do you think? No, I think, um, yeah, they, they... I think... And the Carvalho was just, like, running things out there, and it could have all been stopped. But for both of the goals, I think Rawls should have just smashed... Taken one of their players out, and right. they just... It's just too easy for them this afternoon, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's like an end of season sort of stroll in the park, isn't it? Nothing really on the game now, and um, you can tell. So, um, yeah, they were decent goals, but they could have been avoided by just taking one of their players out. Hurry! Ay, 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 unlucky. Ah, unlucky. Oh, boys. Well in, come on! Awesome. Well in, boys. Fantastic! And Ramos coming on, come on, boys. Oh, that's a ridiculous mistake. Absolutely pathetic. Not only that, it was Philogene as well. Just our luck. It's a lot of an absolute shambles at the back. Absolute shambles. Jokers. What's that? 4-1. Oh my god, thank god for that, what a save. Ball. Shoot Rambo. Ah, lucky. Use your man. Shoot! Oh, come on, come on. Oh, lucky. We've been done again. I'll just end it there, ref. Come on, that's time. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. God, that was a frustrating afternoon again, wasn't it? I mean, just individual errors costing us like it always has done and always will do. Yeah, losing 3-1 like that was really annoying because at, at the same time we had we had some decent chances as well. It's just we just oh, we just completely threw it away in my opinion. What do you think? Yeah, it was just one of those we said at half time. One of those end of season encounters. I think yeah. I don't know psychologically the, well, the players probably saw that result, Norwich beating Ipswich, and that probably put pay to our playoff hopes. But as a as a match, it was a bit drab, wasn't it? Uh, concentration for their third goal was it? Phillips fell asleep. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if it was Rawls who played the the pass to him, and then Philogene nicked in and smashed it in the, the net, of course. But prior to that. I thought Callum Grant, he took his goal well. I thought when Tanner came on, he, he did quite well. Decent. Mm -hmm. Ramsey did all right as well. We had a, a little bit more guile and energy in the middle of the park. But how we did it in the first half, just... I don't know what the midfield were doing. They just let, like, Carvalho just, like, have the run of things. We mm -hmm. should really have dominated in there. A couple of fouls, you know, really put something down to say this is our pitch. This is our stadium. What what are you doing here? And really stamped our authority in midfield and like really bullied them. But that didn't transpire at all, and that, that's really disappointing. But yeah, well, I think today I witnessed probably one of the worst chants songs in in British football, and that's you're being mauled by the Tigers. Tin pot, cringeworthy, and absolutely terrible. Really, whole city fans. What's that all about? Come on, that's that's like something you hear on a 
a children's cartoon or something. <laughs> but as a as a performance from Cardiff, yeah, not not good enough today, really, was it? No, it wasn't at all. And at the end of the day, playoff hopes are basically out the window now. So, as I said at the start, let's get the youngsters involved. Um, I know we're going to be on the beach for the most of the season, um, and we're going to have these performances, but. Let's end it strong and get bullet that contract extension, man. Come on. But aside from that, if you have enjoyed it, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, talk, you can support the channel. That'd be appreciated. Follow my social medias in the description below and also like the World of Football podcast on Spotify. And I'll see you all next time. Au revoir.